Hello guys and welcome to Firefall and uh, today I'm just going to be doing some gameplay of Firefall Beta um, I got it a couple of days ago and I'm actually really enjoying the game so today I'm actually not going to be doing any PvE content I'll probably be showing that in another video I'm probably going to focus on PvP because that's basically what I've been playing a lot of so you can access PvP through these versus terminals, which look like this. Um, so you can queue for Team Deathmatch, Sabotage, or Harvester. I've not played Sabotage or Harvester because, to be frank, not a lot of people are actually playing them. Uh, team Deathmatch is really quick to get a queue. However, if you want to get more XP, just queue for all of them and you get 15 XP multi queue bonus. So uh, helps level you up a lot quicker. Uh, I'll explain some other stuff of the game while I'm in the match. So in Firefall, you have your your primary weapon, which is plasma rifle. Just when you start off. Then you have a secondary. You don't actually start off with a shotgun. You, if you're a assault, which I am, you normally start off with like a machine gun. But I've done some upgrades. Okay, this could be quite a while to explain. So um, basically, the game doesn't work off levels, as far as I know. Um, it works off like an XP currency system so XP is not actually like a leveling thing it's like a like gold or something and wow um, and you use it for upgrades to your armor and so you can get the gear so if you press T it'll show you all the assault battle frame upgrades okay as you can see it tells you I had I have 81,800 XP okay and 20 2,900 XP available. So, all these upgrades cost a certain amount of experience, and then eventually you can get the tier 2 upgrades. Okay, launch match. I might explain more after, or I'll explain more during. Um, but to apply the upgrades, you need to go into the Battle Frame, battle frame Garage. And, um, there's like a UI where you click on your character, but I'll explain more of this in the PvE one. Um, but yeah, it'll be a lot simpler to explain it in the PvP one. PvE, Jesus, I can't speak today. So, um, alright. This is PvP. Okay, right. I'll wait. See, see to open your leaderboard, press tab. Oh, most normal games have tab. Uh, there's blue team, scroll down, and then white is all, and then red. You can see who's on each team. This is literally warm up session. If it still says waiting players, then it's warm up session. The game is very fast paced, I would say. See, now the actual game started, so it tells me that. So. Cool. Uh, team death matches last up to 25 points, so the first uh, team to get 25 kills will win the match. Oh god. Recording, walking, and trying to kill people. Work. When you actually hit someone like they did like a second ago, you would have actually seen it. You can use your special abilities using the 1 and 2 buttons. You can see their cooldowns at the bottom. Okay, right now I'll explain how you die. If you die, then you have about 12 seconds normally for someone to revive you. However, someone can execute you, which means they run up to you, press E, and they'll start snapping off your head, or you can shoot the person. Um, and that will stop you from being revived. That's, uh, so if you want to stop someone from actually being revived on the opposite team, just drop the capital. You win. I am doing so bad. To have the fact I woke up early, I'm bad, just in general. Let's, let's just let's just say it's because I'm recording, you know. I'm, I'm not actually bad. As you can see, there is a few text popping issues, but it's beta. It's beta, man. It's beta. How is it? 
glad you missed that. <laughs> By the way, I am going to be releasing a Minecraft server soon. So, if you are a Minecraft fan, you should probably be in your account for when I release it. I'm just waiting for the new 1.4 craft bucket, and then it will be released. But until then, I can't really do much. Yes, I hit him. Probably gonna die anyway. But no, the team's only got like one kill. Oh, no, I'm not the only man. Fuck. How does that work? He's on the floor down there. And Death, zero assist, and zero score. I'm just actually good at this. I'm going to sit the PVU when I'm recording. Because <laughs> that means I've got the incapability to talk and kill. Kill them people. Aww. Fucking shielded himself in the middle. Yes! Combat ward, revenge, bitch. Revenge! Oh, yeah, not dead person. Ow. Which was, uh, at least I got one on assist and one kill. Oh yeah, I've got to mention something. If you want to get into the bait, like if you, I, I currently don't have any bait keys. Give away, if I did, I give away, but I don't. Um, so if you want to get in the beta and you want to be guaranteed access to the beta by the uh, bounty package, by the end of the week, you will get immediate beta access. Um, the founders package is 20 USD, and I think I paid 12 pound GBP for it. Great British pounds. Uh, so, and you get quite a few extra perks for purchasing that, like, um, you get, uh, a Tiki mask, which is the thing I'm wearing now, but you can't really see it. You can see, like, the front of it, I mean, the back of it, the inside back of it, but you can't really properly see it. You get that, um, you get these, like, bean token things, which are, like, the premium currency in the game, which you can use to do premium stuff. And of course you get Bayer access. There's also, like, I can't remember the, the, I got the first one, but there's two above it, and the last one is, like, a hundred dollars, and it can get you, like, a special vehicle, which no one else has. Um, but if you're just looking for Bayer access, then you just get any of them. Um, so after each match, it tells you how much XP you got from killing stuff, and then you get a match bonus and a PvP bonus. PvP bonus is what you get for um, queuing for multiple things and stuff, and like uh, combat awards and stuff. Um, also, for doing the founders package, you get a five percent XP increase permanently. So for the rest of your fire firefall experience, you will have. 5% increase in XP. I don't know why they've done that, but. So, uh, you will keep being queued as long as you've got this up. So, I'm just gonna unqueue here. And then I'm gonna quickly show you the battle frame. And then I will sign out for this video. So, this is the battle frame where you change what you get. So, as you can. Oh, now you can see the Tiki mask. See, this is your character, okay? So, you can scroll over different locations and they will highlight as you do it. So say for example, I would like to change my gun and click here, I can do my signature weapon. So I can change this, and it shows you all the stats in like the bottom left-ish. 
compared to, oh wait, the bottom left is the one you're currently equipped and the right is the one that you're going, you're hovering over. And you can do this to nearly every single part. See jump jets, so the middle is like the main bit where it shows you your abilities and stuff. You can also flip him around. The only real thing on the back is the reactor, which hasn't got any one yet. So um, that is it for my first Firefall video. Uh, if you like this content and uh, you want more of these videos, uh, please like and favorite and um, tell me what you want in the future. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.